<laughs> well, we'll see. We are underway here then at Playmore, and it's Woking who kick off, but uh, referee is not happy with the kickoff, so we will have a restart here. That's a good start, isn't it? Yeah, not quite sure what he wasn't happy about. I mean, I know players do charge forward, but they haven't got that far forward down this left hand side. There's always a little bit of afters here involving uh, the two number tens, Corey Andrews and uh, Podrick Ammond. And Ammond has brought down Andrews inside the uh, centre circle, inside the first second, I would say that. Andrews is back up. I don't suppose he's had a, all that a polite an answer. <laughs> Throne is taken. Here's Grego Cox on the edge of the uh, Torquay penalty area. Ball back to him. Shot fired in. Oh. It's only, well, I think it may have hit the hit. outside of the post there. Yeah. Love it flew away across to his right hand side. I don't think he was anywhere close to getting it. It's hit a left foot shot first time. And as you say, Alan, I don't think Reese Lovett really sniffed that. Well, he scored after four minutes here in the uh, fixture last year, of course, Rowan Ince. And he was now almost on the score sheet again, talking with more defensive work to do. The, this is the start of the better of the two sides. As Casey lifts it in, good header away at the uh, near post, helped further away. He recycled again, though. Ball out to that right hand side, and Daly just trying to tease his way to the edge of the penalty area. Still there, Daly lines up the shot. Love it, saw it ever so late. Spooned it out into no man's land, and he was fortunate that the nearest player to it. It's Ross Marshall who's standing behind. Pushing in the penalty area An already. Awful lot. There comes the throw straight onto a Woking head. And would you believe it? They only left one man up, and that header finds that one man. Ammond, who's perhaps not got the pace he used to have now. He lays it back, ball forward. Well dealt with by Hansen, helped out by Omar. Not the best of clearances from him. And they'll come out to this left hand side and Casey for Woking. Up to the edge of the penalty area, plays a quick one-two, and then Grego Cox back to Casey again, who has to improvise, put it on his left foot when the right one seemed the obvious one. Here's Ince, nice skill, says Grego Cox with the bender, and that's well saved down to his left-hand post by Reese Lovett. Dave. That's two good saves that Lovett has now made. Um, spell. One arm raised, they've left something near post, but it does go deep towards the back post. They win the first header, Woking back across to the edge of the penalty area, the edge of the six yard box. Then Torquay clear it away, but not very far. Lifted in towards the back stick again. A well claimed by Reese Lovett, who I think has probably carried that one out of play. Yeah, he has. He did well to, to, to catch the cross under we pressure on the money. And Marshall, over it comes. It's a good looking one towards the back post. Nodded away though by Woking. Hansen, that's a strange ball back, it will be OK for Crow. that's a strange header from Crow as well, and now the break can be on, Crow wins the foot race at the moment, Rowan Ince is eating up the yards there. Well, referee is certainly allowing a lot to go as the ball is hooked away eventually by Torkin, it's a handball in there as well, and the ball put out of play. It's uh, being given, some, some is being asked, but... <laughs> This is Nita from uh, Torquay up to the woods, the edge of the penalty. Up goes Goodwin. The ball bounced kindly down for him as well. Nice skills from Goodwin to get inside. His man still going here, Goodwin. Needs some options. Rolls it across. Possible shooting chance on the edge of the area. Andrew's being manhandled again. Torquay still going forward. There's more willpower than anything else. And how there's a player gone down there from Andrews. It wasn't. And it's cleared away into the midfield area. Where Anderson has a touch. And a good challenge coming in from Moxie. Ball breaks for Anderson. And some strange footwork there from uh, Rowan Ince, but he's got very lucky. And Woking breaking on the uh, Torquay back line. Can step over from Ammon. Then the shot drilled in, and that's high over the top of the crossbar. And behind the corner eventually. One arm raised. Look at the near post flick on it. Does carry an awful long way. Could be uh, chased out of the box though by. Moxie lifts it in once more by Casey. Lovely curling cross as well. Not the best of headers away. Shot took, fired in. Well cleared by Donellan. And then that's a really good challenge coming in. A brave one as well there. It's uh, Wyatt, who was just caught there as uh, Wilkinson prepared to take the shot. It was a really brave challenge coming in from Wyatt. These lives are these days and how... Well, we've got a yellow card for Jim Kellerman. I'm not quite sure what he's this done. Game. Daly will catch up with that down the right-hand side. Popstan thinks that's gone out of play. The referee's assistant didn't. And now Ammond is onside, apparently. 
Over comes the cross, good header by Marshall. It's going to come back to Hammond again down that right-hand side. Pulls it back for Daly, takes a touch, dummies to cross. And gives it back again. Daly on the edge of the uh, penalty area, good battling play, but Daly still has possession here. And in the end, have they forced a corner here, Woking? Yes, they have. By the sound of it. Over comes the corner tour, he down to ten, of course. Little flick from Ammond up in the air. Love it's not sure whether to come or go. He's gone back. Little Dolly down. He's really flapping at it. He has grabbed it by his right hand post, but real indecision there by the goalkeeper Love it, who half came, then went back. Defenders hate that, don't they? Well, I, th I think he made the decision just early enough to stop, in other words. Um, anyway, you're not. Seem to line up very strange for this one, I must say. McGavin in just too far in front, and then the referee's assistant has raised his flag. Oh, his flick hooked away by Kellerman onto the head of Ali Omar. Forward it goes, and well anticipated there by Goodwin. And Goodwin will try and get free down that left hand side. He gets away from Moss, who brings him down, and that will be another yellow card. You can always see what the intention was there. Place down this uh, right hand side, and Allowed to go out of play, throwing quickly taken by uh, Torquay. But uh, Anderson was alive there and nips in front of Crow, then plays a clever ball forward looking for Amund and good wins in the wrong place here. And then he uh, managed to regain his ground very quickly there. And it was a Crow. Crow inside now for Hansen. Should have got to Hansen about 10 seconds earlier though. Donlan, poor first touch from Donlan, and he slides down there. And that's going to be another booking this time for Daly. Or is he going to get away with it because he's a, a youngster a midfielder and he's been... No, he hasn't got away with it, quite right too. So, can United stay on side? Oh, that's the question, isn't it? That's the first question anyway. Uh, they did, it's a very poor one, ball drops, shot fired in high at the top of the crossbar, there goes the half-time whistle. Is that United's first shot? It probably is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it probably He's, is. Uh, struck him off, but then the uh, ball inside is easily read, and back it goes to the goalkeeper. Love it. Andrews uh, just in confrontation there with Wilkinson as the ball is lifted towards the edge of the Torquay penalty area, knocked it away by Marsh. Not the best of clearances, possible shooting chance on the edge of the area here from Gregor Cox, who eventually does get his shot away. But it's over the top of the crossbar. Dan Martin, Kieran Evans, Ollie Thomas and Nelson Isigwin. Uh, no goalkeeper on the bench with Mark Houston injured, so Asa Hall is on the bench, so we're told, for his goalkeeping ability. Now here's a chance for Andrews, he's in behind. Andrews! Oh, good save by the keeper. Not properly away yet. Oh, drilled in and nodded away on the goal line there by the defender, who's absolutely polaxed, and the referee's going to pull it back. Well, that was uh, brave defending there, because that was going to be a goal there for uh, Goodwin. It had beaten the goalkeeper, and somehow the defender managed to get back there. I think it might be McNerney, is it? He still scored just once all season. Once all season, and Woking have already used two substitutes. Yeah, one at half time and one straight after half time. His daily lining up a shot doesn't catch it cleanly from the edge of the area, and that one's nice and easy down the throat of Reese Lovett. They've got a kick in the second by the sound of it. Yeah. Maybe they're looking to do that in reverse because Woking certainly lost large chunks of that uh, first period. Daly, more by luck than judgment, gets it uh, through to Rolls. Now here's Ince on the edge of the area, fires it away. That should be easy enough for Lovett. To... It's a corner then for Torquay. Line of players coming in from the edge of the penalty area. Over it comes. There's a whole host went down in there as well. Moxie lines up the shot, deflected, and that one will... Well, all the pace was taken off it, which was very fortunate there for Craig Ross. Oh, that's a terrible ball there from Dean Boxy of all people. Well battled away by Brett McGavin. Didn't manage to hold it up completely, but did well enough there, Brett McGavin. That's a very undean Moxy ball there. Now the referee, three players. Rowan what? Ince is in danger. Uh, no, it's not. Ger it's it's Anderson, Jermaine Anderson, isn't yeah. it? Is in danger of getting booked there. He clearly preventing a throwing throw in being taken. Well, he did that as well in the first half. There was. Uh, Almost a rugby-type uh, tackle coming in here. 
and Will Goodwin has reacted to this. It's the victim originally. He just needs to keep his calm here. It is going to be a free kick here for Talk United on the edge of the penalty area. That was a spat between and now Goodwin and, and Rolls. Oh. Andrews has gone down. And the referee, Mr Durkin, has got some real work here to do. All to continue. Dean Moxie remains in the vicinity. Wearing the captain's armband. So, yellow. Five Woking players on a yellow now. Plus Will Goodwin for Torquay. Over it comes, it's a really good one. It's loose, I could have gone absolutely anywhere and it has been stabbed wide of that right-hand post. Yeah. Roger Gammond, now 34 years young. They took him off after a round about an hour against Wrexham. They might well have wanted that option again today, but the two and four substitutes have already hit on the goals again. Poor ball out to the right-hand side, does find McGavin in the end. Throw on the overlap, takes a touch, drills it in low, all the way across, still goes across, and nobody in the yellow shirt can get on the end of it. The goals fans making more and more noise, overcomes the throw. That's straight on to the head of Cuthbert to Moxie. That's a clever ball. Can Omar keep this in? He can. Clever ball. Free header. 1-0. Torquay take the lead. Brilliant ball in from Ali Omar. Ali Omar, the winger. And Torquay United take the lead. Well, that was brilliant from Ali Omar. And in the end, it was a free header coming in. And it is. Torquay United 1, Woking 0. Does find a way out and it's lifted forward down that left hand side for Casey. Armand will chase after that one up against Marshall. Crow, not very far away though. Here's a shooting chance. Gregor Cox for Ince takes a touch, blasts it way over the top of the crossbar. Well, he used to be on Chelsea's foot in front of his man to clear away towards the halfway line. Then McNerney puts into the path of Casey. Hans loses his footing, still hasn't regained it as the cross comes in. Love it's back pedaling. That's a strange header coming in from Omar. Then the attempted chip from Roger Gammon doesn't manage to beat Moxie. Over. Just do the simple thing. He, he, he tried to make that much too complicated and ended up wrong option kicking it out of play. It was a perfectly good pass on. Oh, now Anderson's got away from Moxie here. It's three against three momentarily. Here's Greg Cox, oh. and he's drilled it wide of that left-hand post. Apparently, it was a little touch there. Well, that was a great touch by Marshall, then, if he got one. I guess, uh, that uh, shot by Grego Cox was... combine here. McNerney's forward as well. Only one working play in the six-yard box. Lifted in towards that six-yard box. There's a free header, and it's in! Well, it's perfectly worked from a working point of view. And it's Talk United 1, Woking 1. I'm not absolutely sure it wasn't Cuthbert who got the uh, header as well. But they're certainly level here, the cards, with 72 minutes on the clock. Talk United 1, Boreham would have come from behind to lead by two goals to one at Dorking. Notts County have taken the lead at home against Solihull Moors. Halifax still leads by a goal to nil at Scunthorpe. As, uh, there's a chance here for Anderson, a wonderful save by Lovett. Still not properly away, and then the follow-up is into the back of the net. They've scored twice in two minutes, and I think it might well be Daly again. Looks Woke, like it. Woking have turned this one absolutely on its head. Talk United weren't paying attention at the back, they've switched off. And Woking have hit them twice in as many minutes. And I think it's a daily with both. Talk United 1, Woking 2. All came from United missing a header to start with. To play. Talk United 1, Woking 2 here on BBC Radio Devon Sport. Here comes the long throw. On to the head of Cuthbert. Ali Omar gives it back to Moxie. Moxie. Drills it in low towards the near post, but that one's well read by McNerney. And then hooked away anywhere will do. Ahmed is the only player up the pitch, making life difficult. Crow wins his header. Here's Grego Cox. Crow needs to get back up, ball inside. Here's Rolls completely through. Rolls to win it here. Rolls pokes it past the keeper. And Woking put the game to bed. Jack Rolls there, beating Reese Love it. Torquay, unfortunately, as much as... They had a player down injured in the build-up to that one. And they've managed to break quickly here, Woking. And they've scored three in seven minutes. Talk United one, Woking three. Decent game, isn't he? I think Ali Omar, if I had to pick a man of the match for United, it would probably be him. Yeah. 
Nice twist and turn again for the air. Goodwin scuffs his effort. Wasn't sure whether there was a shot or a cross actually in the end there from Goodwin. It was certainly very badly scuffed in the end. And then Dean Moxie. I don't think there was uh, too much guile about that from Moxie's uh, left one in on Dan Moss. Gets a yellow card and uh, Moxie booked. Close to uh, fit. Over comes the uh, throw, straight on to a woking head. Seguin on the edge of the penalty area. Not too much behind him if he uh, loses possession, does hold on to it. Martin needs to be very careful here, and Martin hasn't been careful now. There's three woking men breaking forward. McGavin trying to get back here. And it's a powder puff effort from Kaboa straight at Reese Lovett. Just on the pitch, good win. On that one, that one's going to go all the way through to Ross. It will allow the ball to drop, and there goes the full time whistle. And it's another defeat for Talk United, a fourth in a row. They did manage to score, they took the lead in this one as well.